Allah says, we made for you means on this earth to live well. Allah didn't want us to live in misery here. It's not like in Jannah you'll have all great things. Here you have to live in a crummy place. Here you have to dress poorly. Here you have to be miserable. No, that's not our concept. Actually, a lot of Christian theology suggests this world is like a punishment. This world is like a punishment, you know. And the real, real, real rewards of God are in paradise. That's not the Muslim view. We're told to appreciate this world. How many times Allah takes pride, asks, asks us to look at the sky and how beautiful it is? How many times Allah asks us to look at the mountain, the camel, the tree, and all these things? How come? Because we're supposed to appreciate these things all around us. These are beautiful things around us. So the world in the Muslim's point of view is beautiful. Allah Himself says, I made it beautiful for you. So if Allah made it beautiful and luxurious and nice, then how can we turn around and not appreciate it? Allah is teaching us a very powerful lesson here. You know, part of being a Muslim, an essential part of being a Muslim is to be grateful. To be grateful, you have to appreciate things. Allah wants us to appreciate the world around us. Qalila ma tashkurun, the ayah ends. How little you think? How many of us get into our home and appreciate that we have air conditioning? We have a carpet on the floor. We have a kitchen. We have a sink in the kitchen. And when you turn the faucet, water comes out. We take these things for granted. Are there places in the world there are no faucets? There are no kitchens. There are no floors. There are no carpets. There are no walls. There are no ceilings. There's no such thing as a couch. They haven't seen a couch. You know? There are people that live in those situations too. We should, when we go home, you just look at it and you just appreciate what you have. Ma'ayish. Qalila ma tashkurut. And Allah wasn't even talking to us in 2012. Allah is talking to people who live in the desert. Do you think their life is more comfortable than ours? No. What air conditioning do they have in 115 degrees? Allah says, even you're living well. Don't you enjoy dates? Don't you enjoy a nice cool evening looking out at the stars? That Allah says is, I've hooked you up pretty nicely. And to us, I mean, what's the comparison? If the Sahaba saw us today, they'd be like, is this a preview of Jannah or what? You know, Allah did, what, what, are the, what are the things Allah described? Different kinds of drinks in Jannah, different kinds of drinks, all kinds of fruit, servants. What happens in restaurants? different kinds of drinks, all kinds of fruit, all kinds of flavors of ice cream, artificial waterfall, fountain, in the restaurants, right? Everything that was promised. All at this restaurant in like Edison. You know, subhanAllah. We're given so much we don't appreciate. Qalila ma tashkurun. But this is still not the thesis, the point of the surah. We're, we're building up to it. He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ Okay, so your life around you is beautiful. Then we created you. We created you. When Allah says we created you, it doesn't just mean, oh, we created move on. It means my creation is something special. So special that Allah Himself takes credit for it. That means when a Muslim believes that Allah created me, then a Muslim does not have low self-esteem. A Muslim does not have low self-worth. I'm worthless. I'm nothing, I'm ugly, I'm too fat, I'm too short, I'm not smart like my brother is. I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other. No, Allah, cre Allah created me, how can I complain about myself? How can I complain about myself? When Allah creates something, all the Muslim does is think. All the Muslim does is think. And he didn't just say, خَلَقْنَاكُمْ He says, ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ Then we molded you, fashioned you, designed you, at tasmeem at-tasweer, we molded you art artistically. Allah takes credit of His creativity in making your face and mine, in creating our bodies, in fashioning our hands. Every single one of us. Sawarnakum. 